pretty much from about 2005 to 2008, um, we spent most of our time taking this libretto, which was pretty sparse at that point. It had a story, we liked the story, but the it didn't quite have enough words. We realized that a lot of the texture was in describing the physical environment, describing the sounds, which is of course very hard to do before, you know, putting any of these things into words without before you design them is very difficult. So we spent two or three years fleshing out the project so that all of us could actually imagine what it might look like. We did a lot of computer graphics for the system, the walls, the robots. I spent a huge amount of my time on these kind of conceptual issues. You know, who are the characters? What's the story? What's missing in the text? In 2005, um, I decided to sit down and simply write the music for this first scene, the scene where you find Simon Powers and his family, and Simon is ready to get out of here, and the system is just about done, as Evie and Miranda are wondering, is this going to work? Where is he going to go? Is this still going to be him? Are we going to be able to touch him? Are we going to be able to hear him? And Nicholas, of course, is incredibly excited because his experiment's about to be tried. There was a big opera conference in Europe um, hosted in this very building. We did the scene and, and the characters, uh, you know, related to each other and, and showed what they were going through and brought it to this very hall and uh, put it on uh, for about 50 of the top opera producers and directors in Europe. Again, that was another stage where we all said, yeah, you know, this is real, we can feel this, and uh, people were pretty blown away. So then we went back and spent two more years uh, <laughs> trying to build the set and, and finish raising the money. And, and then by about the end of 2008, I decided that uh, the time had come and I, you know, whatever we were still designing for walls and robots, um, I just had to sit down and write the score. That's the only way all these elements are going to come together. I mean, it's an opera after all. So that's what I did in 2008. Um, 2009, in the fall, uh, we did a workshop production at the American Repertory Theater where we didn't try to stage it at all. We just um, did the music beginning to end, all the characters on stage. It was incredibly important to hear this piece from beginning to end, not just to hear the music and, you know, to, to hear it real instead of talking about it, but to hear the continuity, to hear the, the you know, the, the, what happens to these characters. I say here because, you know, in an opera, first of all, all the elements have to come together to be more than the sum of the parts. I think in this opera they do. But in many ways, the continuity, the, the, this backstory, the sense of what somebody's really feeling, what somebody thinks about somebody else, how somebody's changing, where somebody is at a particular moment, you know, we get that information from many sources, but at bottom it has to come from the music. By listening to the music, people could hear what held this together and what, what it was, and you know, we could hear what we wanted to make better. But luckily, I think you know, we could hear that you know, it was something that um, was kind of worth building all this other stuff around. It's very unusual for an opera to have a workshop a year before a premiere. It almost never happens. To actually have the luxury of knowing the entire score, recording it, having it in the music score, and to be able to live with it so you can make changes has been fantastic. Really from end of September 2009 until this very day, uh, we've spent building the rest of it, taking all of our designs, building the robots, building the walls, figuring out how everything moves, uh, how it's choreographed, rehearsing things. We scheduled our rehearsals so that we had an intensive period in June, a few weeks off, an intensive period in July, beginning of August, to kind of do dress rehearsals, a few weeks off, and then now we've met again in Monaco, put things together, and, and we have about a week now to rehearse, make things perfect before we open. That's meant that at every stage of the game, um, people could evaluate what had happened, make changes in between, make it better, 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 and you know, won't be perfect when we open, but it'll already be a pretty mature show. I don't know, I gotta say, uh, I'm not sure I ever thought we'd end up in this hall, actually on stage with this thing, uh, you know, this amazing group of people who've put this together. And for me, it's not just the fact that we actually pulled this off. Um, you know, which, which it is, itself uh, was something I wasn't sure of at many stages. But I kind of think we have something here, you know, which is, which is why you do it. <laughs>